one of my favorite papers on the platform is actually a paper um, written by uh, Enrico Fermi. Yeah. And the, the title of the paper is, my Obs- I think is My Observations at Trinity. So basically Fermi was part of the, the Manhattan Project. So he was in New Mexico when um, they exploded the first atomic bomb. And so he was a couple of miles away from the explosion. And he was probably one of the first persons to calculate the energy of the explosion. And so the way he did that was he took a piece of paper and he tore down a piece of paper in in little pieces. And when the bomb exploded, uh, the Trinity bomb was the name of the bomb, like he waited for the blast to arrive at where he was. And then he threw those pieces of paper in the air and he calculated the energy based on the displacement Uh, of the paper, the pieces of paper. And then he wrote a report, which was classified until like a couple of years ago, <laughs> one page report, like calculating the energy of the explosion. Oh, that's and, so badass. And I, I, we actually went there and kind of unpacked and like, uh, kind of, yeah, I think he just mentions basically the energy and we we actually went, and one of the annotations is like explaining how he did that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wonder how accurate he was. It was maybe I think like 20, 20 or 25% off. Uh, then there was another person that actually calculated the energy based on uh, images after the explosion at the rate uh, and the rate at which the 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 like the mushroom of the explosion expanded, and it's more accurate to calculate the energy based on that. Um, and I think it was like 20, 20 percent off. But it's it's really interesting because you know Fermi was known for all these being a master at these back of the envelope calculations. Mm-hmm. Always like the Fer- the Fermi problems are well known for for that. Um, and it's super interesting to see like that just one page report and it was also actually classified. And it's interesting because a couple months ago uh, when the Beirut explosion happened, there was a, a video circulating of these um, a bride that was doing a photo shoot uh, when the explosion in Beirut happened. And so you can see a video of her with a wedding dress and then the explosion happens and the blast arrives at where she was. She was a couple of miles away from the blast. And you can see like, um, the displacement of the dress as well. And I actually looked, and that video went viral on Twitter, and I actually looked at that video and based, I used the same techniques that Fermi used to calculate the energy of the explosion uh, based on the displacement of the dress. And you could actually see where, where she was at the, the distance from the explosion because there was a store behind her and you could look the name of the store. And and so I calculated that. It was the uh, distance and it, then you can- the, 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 Based on the distance where she was from the, the, yeah. the explosion and also on the, the displacement of the dress. Like, mm-hmm. because you can, when the blast happens, like you can see the dress going back and then re- going back to the original position. And like, by just looking at like how much the, the, the dress moved, you can estimate the explo- the energy of the explosion. I assume you published this. Uh, on Twitter it was just a, a, a Twitter thread, uh, but it, it, it actually like a lot of people share that, and it was picked up by a couple of, of um, news outlets. But well, it was, I, I, I was hoping it would be like a formal title and it would be an archive. No, 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 it no, may be submitted. A, just the Twitter <laughs> a Twitter thread, but it was interesting because it was exactly the same uh, method that Fermi used.